Where is the camera? Oh. Namaskar friends, welcome back to my channel Living Economics. Today I am going to discuss with you what is dead weight loss. <laughs> this is my doll and uh, I need to take care of it. I will come back with my examples of dead weight loss and the graph. Thank you. Okay, so let us find out what is dead weight loss. Dead weight loss by definition is the loss to the society which happens because of market inefficiencies. What do we mean by market inefficiencies? Market inefficiencies happen when supply is not equal to demand. When the price in the market which is prevalent is not the equilibrium price. When demand is greater or less than the supply. Right? Which means there will be a lesser consumer surplus, there will be a lesser producer surplus. To know more about consumer surplus and producer surplus, please check my previous videos. Now what is dead weight loss? Any amount or any price which is more than equilibrium price or maybe less than equilibrium price have the tendency to create dead weight loss to society. Now I'll give you one example which will explain this dead weight loss in a simple uh, manner, you know. So let us assume that there is a school bus which is a 60 seater school bus and the cost of the bus to pick and drop students from home to school and back to home is 500 rupees per day. Now let us assume that if the price of one service of pick and drop is 20 rupees per kid, okay? There, there are only 50 students or 50 parents who are interested in hiring such services. But if price drops from 20 to 15, all 60 students will be uh, joining the bus services or will be hiring the bus services. So first let's see what happens and how the deadweight loss is created when price is 20 rupees per kid rather than 15 rupees. So when price is 20 rupees per kid, only 50 students or only 50 parents are hiring these services and therefore the bus is going uh, without taking 10 more students. That means the seats of 10 students are vacant in the bus, which is not of any use for anybody in the society. If the bus drops its price from 20 rupees to 15 rupees, all 60 students will be you know, joining these bus services and therefore the bus, bus will not be vacant. All the 10 seats which were earlier have not created value to the society now is able to create value to the society. So you see dead weight loss happens when there is no extra cost for the bus or there is a minimal cost for the bus to pick and drop students but it is not able to utilize it just because it wants to maximize its profit charging 20 rupees per kid and making 1000 rupees total revenue compared to charging 15 rupees per kid and you know making 900 rupees as uh, their total revenue. So this is how uh, dead weight loss is bothering the economist because when the bus has the capacity to take 10 more students, 10 more kids, why not it is doing it? Because we already have scarcity of resources these 10 seats which are going without the kids are the waste of resources and that is what is not liked by economists so we always try to make sure that this dead weight loss is removed from the market and market achieves efficiency either with the help of market forces of demand and supply or with the help of government intervention or any institutions um, uh, if you ask me whether a dead weight loss is always bad or not that is a different question and we can say that sometimes dead weight loss is not bad uh, especially for those goods which are not very good for the society but in order to know more about this you have to see my next videos right now I'm going to explain with the help of a graph what is dead weight loss so here we go pardon me for not drawing the straight lines I'm not very perfect in that and you know where is equilibrium which is let's say 15 rupees per student and the equilibrium quantity is 60. So uh, supply is equal to demand at 60 units with equilibrium price at, at 15. Now in this case you can see that consumer surplus which is CS, CS and producer surplus which is PS in this graph 
is maximized anything less than or more than this will create deadweight loss or will hamper the maximum welfare or maximum surplus to the society now uh, let's see uh, assume that instead of charging 15 rupees per kit the bus is charging 20 rupees per kit and therefore only 50 students are using bus services now 10 are not there and 10 bus seats are vacant like so what is happening in this case the this much area of consumer surplus and this much area of producer surplus is nowhere neither it is with the producers or it is with the consumers this is gone and gone like when bus traveled from home to school and school to home back 10 seats were vacant which were not utilized by any of the kids or the 10 kids which might have opted for this bus service if the price drops down from 20 rupees to 15 rupees okay so this is what is deadweight loss which can be shown with the help of a graph when prices are more than the equilibrium price and quantity is less than the equilibrium quantity this is a loss which is gone which has not gone to either consumers or to the producers okay with this video i am hoping that you have understood what is deadweight loss and if you want to understand more about these small concepts which sometimes look easy but not that easy please message me i am sure i'll be able to help you on that till then take care bye bye